Hello everyone and welcome back to Channel Dead Brian Lape Reads. And here we're going to have some fitness stuff that has nothing to do with Elizabeth Hurley. But it is in the Isles. Ireland this is. It's from the Irish News. Um, I don't remember. I kind of accidentally stumbled across this um, article. I don't remember exactly how. But because uh, I don't really know who Orlaith McAllister. Apparently she was on Big Brother or something. It even says there. Incandescent. It's a show I never watched. But I was looking for fitness stuff about celebrities. And I can't. that's basically how I found this. Um, so I'm going to assume her name is Orlaith uh, McAllister or Late McAllister. I, I don't know. If it's if it's Gaelic, it could be, you know, George. So I, I don't know. So apparently she turned 40 recently. And, um, why I like to, uh, look at this is because she's lifting weights and this is amazing how many I had other, you know, people closer to my age, women got in their forties, except my wife who refuses to work out. Um, they started lifting weights They're like, Oh my gosh, I really like you know, how I feel. And, you know, I'm losing fat and I'm not gaining, you know, mu too much muscle. I'm like, yeah, if you don't eat that way, you won't gain. So to see a woman go, Oh my God, I, you know, the, I, I feel the strongest I've ever felt. This is awesome. So this is what got my attention. So let's get to the article and see what's going on. When former fashion model and big brother contest, okay, fashion model, or, um, or late, or late, uh, if you know how to pronounce her name, please let me know. And turned 40 in April. She uh, celebrated the occasion with a special uh, gift or so. This was last year, I think actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the mom of two uh, from North uh, Belfast had spent her, uh, set herself a, a target last year. And by the time she reached her 40th birthday, she would be in a position to work as a fully trained personal instructor. That's good. Under the guidance of Alpha Training NI, a fitness training company, uh, she completed a level three PT dip, uh, diploma. I don't, and I have no idea what if that's really high. That's at the bottom. I don't know. Um, a, a combination of practical theory and coursework. Uh, her dream is now uh, to open a small studio space for women, particularly those who find a large gym environment intimidating. Um, and and that is, I will say this. Uh, I don't. There are a lot of meatheads in large gyms, and I have learned to ignore them. Okay, over the years, um, but when I was really new to it, I you know large gyms kind of scared me. I'm in a small gym right now, and because I, I, I like going in the morning, and there's nobody there. As a former model whose face and figure graced magazine covers, and who made regular appearances on the catwalk, on the catwalk, uh, also worked herself uh, exercising several times a week and sticking to a mainly healthy diet. Mainly healthy diet, but just low fat, which is not healthy. But when she underwent surgery uh, six years ago to have breast implants removed, okay, she decided to stay focused on making her body strong again. After the third third set of implants, I had ooh, I had in ruptured and I had surgery. Wow, well, that's hmm. okay. What's she doing to make some rupture? Uh, I wanted to let my body heal and I didn't want to go down that route again. At the same time, I wanted to be able to look at my body and feel happy. I'm popping my peas again. I do have a shield somewhere around here. When it's uh, really when I started uh, getting into the fitness room. So uh, I feel happy with it. So that's really when I started. Okay. I've always been naturally slim, but I wanted to make my body strong. Uh, I have given birth to two children. I think the body is an amazing thing. And I've always been thin too. And, and you know, weight. This is why people say, well, you lift so much weight. How come you're not, you know, 285 pounds because I just my body just doesn't like to do that when power Pilates became less popular and available she joined a number of different gyms mixing I'm I know I'm skipping a lot of stuff because I really don't care about all the background I want to know what she's doing now I was really getting buzz out of training yep I love seeing my body cha uh, changing shape that's awesome getting more uh, defined muscles in my arms and legs and developing strong abs but mentally I definitely felt stronger yeah that's that's really that that happens more when you lift weight especially when you lift heavy now for a woman in her 40s Sets of eight, heavy sets of eight are probably better than sets of five. Uh, I've noticed that women need a little bit more reps and they recover faster than guys do. Uh, you know, heavy for them, right? Um, also, to help uh, when early last year, Orlaith involved in a serious road accident. Uh, her children were in a car at the time, but all three walked away uninjured. Well, that's good. Uh, I feel the strongest I felt in my life since I began training properly every day. I'm uh, physically, so I want to know what, what she's doing. Um, the accident, okay. When one, uh, PT, Kevin Jordan, Ke Kevon, uh, Jordan spotted her working out in the gym. He approached her and asked her to take part in a fitness photo shoot. They I proved to be a cat, of course, because you know, she's apparently pretty good looking. I did uh, feel a bit nervous about doing the photo shoot. I also used to do fashion shoots, but this was very different. Just had to, I, I just had to oil my body up and not focus on much of my hair or makeup. Okay. <laughs> 
when I put the photos on my social media, I got a lovely response. That's good. I also got private messages from women asking me for advice on losing weight, toning up best exercises. Uh, I didn't expect that kind of reaction. Well, that's good. I mean, it's good that women, uh, she wouldn't get any hate. Uh, qu- quite often you get a lot of hate. Uh, the women will get, you know, body shaming and all that other stuff. Um, so I'd love to uh, open an intimate uh, female only studio. And I guess there are not some in, in Ireland. There's several around here. Uh, I don't know how well they do. After uh, completing an intense level three. So this is a level three uh, course in personal training. She says she was exhausted but excited about getting started with her own business. Um, hopefully she knows how to run a business. In the meantime, she still set aside time every day to train at Jimco in Belfast uh, City Side. I really feel now I'm in control of my body. That's good. I love being th- this strong. Uh, I wish there were more pictures. The star of, okay, he eats a healthy diet consisting mainly of fish, vegetables, fruit, but doesn't deprive herself. Okay, she fancies a treat like chocolate, but so a fish. So there's a fair amount of protein there. So she's still getting some animal protein. Um, the fish probably is the healthier part of this. I, and I would like to know how much fruit she is. I'm not a wine drinker. That's good. Uh, I only drink about once a month. Okay, while raising children. Okay, uh, wake up. So I have no idea what exercises she's doing, unfortunately. But um, I really like it is... Um, it's, you know, it's strength training, okay, or it's strength oriented. Now, I, know, I understand she's got a barbell, an easy curl bar here with, five, it looks like 15 pounds. I, well, I don't know if that's 15 a side or if the whole thing is 15 pounds. Uh, I hope it's a side, so that thing's probably like 45, 40, 45. That's a good place to start. But if she's doing bent over rows, for one, she needs to stand up a little bit less and, and not have so much arch in her back. But she needs to get a little bit heavier with that weight. And, uh, and, and it'll help her upper back a lot. But she has good development in her arms, her shoulders. These look pretty good from what we can see here. Um, abs look, I mean, I think her stomach's fine, but I understand, you know, she had a couple kids and I, and I, I get it. Um, so Orlaith or Orlaith or however you say your name, I, this is awesome. This is, I like seeing women get into to strength training. Now, that's why I wanted to know exactly what she was doing because lots of times with personal training, they teach you to do a lot of stupid exercises and, you know, that, that actually get people injured. But that is right there is a strength uh, exercise, and I like to know what how, how much set she's doing and all that kind of stuff, but eh, it's not in here, so I don't know. But I'm still encouraged that she's lifting weights. So what do you think? Do you know more about Miss, Miss or Mrs.? I know I'm McAllister. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much, and see you later. Goodbye. <clears throat> all right, I think it'll work. It, it is kind of small, but I think it'll work. All right, three, two, one.